guys, what are we gonna look at this morning? Well, we're gonna look at this Shielden Tranchodon. Um, it's interesting. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. Guys, this is another one of those knives that came in from Jared over at Neves Knives. Go check his channel out. Uh, go check out Cole. Go check out Bees. Go check out everybody in the knife community. Everybody's got your good channels. But today, I'm going to put a, a link to uh, Big Red EDC down below. Um, so this came in from Jared. I pulled it out of the box, and I was kind of intrigued by it. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to talk about it when we turn this around. I've got a couple of small issues with it and uh first day and carry is kind of uh, showing them um but we're not going to talk about it here we're going to turn this turn this around and take a look at it from above guys before we start i want to say how happy i am that these lights i got have removed some of that weird shadow effect you get i mean there's still a little bit of it but i mean there's only so much you can do and the better lighting definitely seems to be helping um, so at any rate, this is that shield and knives. What is this? The Tranchodon. And then that says, I think that says Django. I'm not sure it, who the maker is. I have not looked any of this up. Just so you guys know, if you're new to the channel, the way I do this is on my first day in pockets. I fly into it blind. I pull the knife out of the box. I put it in my pocket. I start carrying it and I kind of get a feel for it. First impressions. And it, it allows me to to not form any biased opinions. So this is an attractive, striking looking knife. I'm gonna tell you, it's not light and it's not little. Uh, so this is, I do know this is in a 9CR powdered Damascus, but it looks like a core. So when we do the full review, I will have all the specs, price and all that stuff. I'd appreciate it if you leave the price and stuff out of the comment section. It helps me keep from being biased. So action on this thing so far this morning has been great. In and out of pocket, it's not a problem. This pocket clip does look really sharp and angular, but it really doesn't bother me. It stands up pretty tall, but they've done it in a way where it's really not a hot spot. It, I, I was surprised. I When I pulled this out of the box uh, again this morning, because uh, the only thing I'd done was just the unboxing, and I really didn't take a close look at it. I looked at this and I'm like, man, that's going to be that's going to be hotspot city and it really isn't i was pleasantly surprised uh this actually makes it really easy to get in and out of pocket because it catches the material and just kind of guides it right in the pocket um so i'm digging the pocket clip i like the reptilian look to it with the little spines and stuff on it um not sure handle material yet uh, i'll look that up i imagine it's some sort of either a fat carbon or a carbon fiber uh, you know, a hybrid kyber, uh, carbon fiber. So looks aside, um, the wife went to Costco yesterday uh, because she's been gone for two months and there was a lot of stuff she wanted. And I tried to do some cutting with this and I'm gonna say, I'm pretty sure I've got to sharpen this. I don't know, this is, looks still like the factory edge. I did hit, it felt dull when I pulled it out of the box. So I hit it on a ceramic rod and it seemed to touch the edge up, but it just didn't cut very well. I cut up a bunch of cardboard and stuff with it. Typically these 9CR take a really fine, crisp edge. This just doesn't seem to be sharp. There seems to be some, some factory mist grinds on it there. Uh, little stuff that, that come with, with some knives. Uh, I will say flipper tab on this is something that does bother me. It is a really large flipper tab and you know, that's just taking up more pocket real estate. So just looking at that across the back, you're looking at almost two inches, just shy of two. Uh, eh, what are you looking at? Inch and three quarters on that, I think. Uh, just on a rough estimate here on the, on the measurements on the mat. It is not a little knife. It does carry fairly well, though. And I like the design. Like, if you're going to make a knife and make it attractive you know, do something interesting. So what you've got is kind of a modified, a modified Warren cliff or almost a sax. It's got a lot of belly. Uh, it's got a lot of belly for like a clip 
down Warncliffe, so I really don't know what I would call that blade shape. Um, but it is, it's an attractive looking knife. It looks nice closed. It looks better open. I just wish the flipper tab was not quite as big and the jimping on the inside. While it's not real aggressive, you get a little bit of jimping here that's kind of, kind of hot spotty, not horrible. Uh, and then this is aggressive and sharp. I really don't need, you know, if you've scalloped that out and lowered this side, I really don't need jimping in here. So we'll see how that plays out. There is jimping everywhere. The jimping on the spine, however, is nice and aggressive. But when you're when you're in it and you're grabbing it, like I felt it when I was cutting, you can feel all of that jimping there. I don't think you need that, to tell you the truth. And I think that might pose a problem. This jimping down here, no issue. Does have a lanyard hole for you guys that like lanyards. Unfortunately, there is nothing protecting it. So if you happen to have a loose lanyard, uh, you could get into it with the blade if it's kind of bulky. Just one of those little things. And then the last thing, if you're going to, I wish that the action on it, it is really hard to use that fuller as a, as a flip. Um, now, that's not a big deal. I just like it because it's fun and it gives you more than one way to deploy the knife. Uh, but the action is really snappy on it. Overall, it's a really attractive knife. And we're going to see how it carries. Like I said, I'm probably just going to maybe today do a quick sharpening on this. I might do that as uh, as like a time lapse or something like that as exclusive content for the paying members. Uh, but like I said, I don't know if it's if it's a little thick behind the edge or if just it's not a real good factory edge. But you can see where I hit it on the ceramic rod and that just really didn't seem to bring it up. It's not very sharp. So that's my big concern with it right now is I'm going to have to sharpen it before I use it. So we'll see how it cuts after sharpening and, and everything. And we'll come back and we'll do the full review and specs and all that. So guys, that's it. That's all I got here at the tabletop. Let's turn this around and do a little bit of final thoughts. Yeah, like I said, guys, at the tabletop, I, it definitely, I'm hoping that a sharpening is going to change my opinion on this. It uh, really did not cut very well or perform very well this morning. So we will see how that ends up. Guys, that's it on this one. Uh, just a short little first day in pockets. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. It helps me improve the content. I can't change what you guys don't like if you don't tell me what that is. Um, if you want to support the channel, guys, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop comments. Um, that's pretty much it. Hit that bell icon if you guys want to see everything I put up. If you want to support the channel financially, there's a lot of ways you can do it. First and foremost, I have a membership tab down in the description below. It gets you early access to videos, exclusive content based on tier, uh, premium sharpening tutorial series, exclusive giveaways, and it saves you $5 per sharpening, which is already at $25, so that puts it at $20 a knife, and that's locked in, period. Um, other ways you can do it, I have affiliate links down below in the description. Anything you purchase, I get a portion of the of the uh, checkout and it doesn't cost you anything. And if you're doing it on Amazon, even if you click on something, if it's not what you want, if you do any further shopping, I still get credit for it. And the final way is I do have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I've built you guys a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. It's crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp. And if you send me pictures of you guys wearing my merch, I will put the pictures in the videos. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. Uh, it helps me moderate the channel a little bit easier. Uh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.